Bless this family, welcome back to another YouTube presentation, YouTube video. I'm excited right now. Me and Marilyn just completed a 48 hour water fast. A little bit shorter than last time, but we completed another one and I'm grateful for it. Today I wanna, I'm gonna show you guys the fruits we got and we plan to also eat plant-based foods. We will show you that later. This fast, it doesn't feel the same like the last one. I'm realizing that longer the fast, the more it has the more you kick into ketosis and get get that lean look. But I define this 48 hour fast as like giving my body like a break from all anything that I had eaten that was weird throughout the week. So 48 hours I would say is re is knocking the door of a detox, you know, or like a cellular uh, restart, I should say. But anyways, I feel good right now. I get excited when it's time to eat. We got some different foods than last week and I'm about to get ready to show you. Thanks. All right, yes, this is the fun part right here. The other day I bought some fruit from lower quality grocery stores and I realized that these companies are offering fruit based off the quality of fruit. So if you want higher quality fruit, the reality is you need to go to your Whole Foods or your natural food store. You want lower quality fruit where you're quote unquote saving money that's at your lower quality grocery store or your bigger corporation. What I notice is that I guess the farmers take the high quality fruit and give it to like a Whole Foods and then the low quality fruit to like your Winco or uh, whatever, uh, Safeway. And then they all, depending on what tier they on, they all get a certain type of quality fruit. That's just a theory of mine. I don't know if it's true, but I was like, oh, let me go save money. And I realized that the quality of fruit changes. And the bottom line is that I don't even know if any of these fruits, everything nowadays is engineered. So does it really matter? That I don't know. Um, but I do like at least when I'm eating something of more quality. You know, they're, they're, they're forcing us to, to miss out on quality. Anyways, we got some cherries here soaking in vinegar. We got some blackberries soaking in vinegar. Look at all that that's floating on top. Tambrin, you know, crazy fiber. This will have you run into the toilet by itself, even if you were fa not fasting or fasting. We got the sea moss, pineapple, and strawberry smoothies with grounded soy sauce leaves and stems. I wanted to show that. Um, that is also in our smoothies. Soy sauce leaves and bark is known between black scientists that it cures cancer and cleanses the body. Notice I said black scientists. Okay. And then we also have some Ojai tangerines. We've actually lived in this area before, so that's kind of exciting. I thought I bought oranges. And then over here, I don't want to say I'm disappointed, but I'm grateful, but I'm also disappointed. This is June plum, but this was grown in Florida. Uh, June plum that I know from Yad, Jamaica, is like the size of three of these or at least two of these. But I'm going to see if any of them are ripe and go ahead and give them a try. All right, blessings family. Here's another view. Before we get started, I do want to recommend a video for if you are inspired to dive deeper. This video is called electric versus magnetic foods and healing the brain and body with Ya key and 19 keys by earn your leisure i'm gonna put the thumbnail of the video right here go ahead and check that out in your spare time i am definitely inspired from that video so let's dive in we got the june plum the cherries here and blackberries tambrin sea moss smoothie all praises to the most and this this is my favorite part it's time to dive in. <laughs> How that smoothie tastes, I didn't taste it. A little bit sea mossy. I love tambrin so much. I remember being in Jamaica and seeing a tambrin tree. I don't know how to describe it, but it's this big tree that grows like, if you ever see a, a Nubian African queen with her hair growing like this, like an Ethiopian or someone from East Africa. So it grows like that and it comes over and then it just like drop all these like like as if they were like Christmas lights or anything. It's really cool. Mm. Have I seen a tambourine tree? I don't think so. In person? Mm -mm. Is it a little sour? Mm -hmm. So good. It's hard to talk when you haven't eaten in 48 hours. How was your fast this time know. around compared to the last one? The first, like the night was good because I drank like three liters of water at work. 
And then when I got home, I was kind of like awake. We did a lot of stuff on Friday afternoon, and then we got home, I showered. Darian wanted to go to the gym, but I was doing a try-on haul. I had a lot of energy. And then I wound up going to the gym. I felt fine throughout the gym. I got home, showered again, just chilled and drank more water, and I felt really good. And then this morning I woke up. Well, last night when I was blogging, I felt like my stomach started making noises. But then after that, it quelled when I was drinking more water. I went to bed, woke up, wasn't hungry. I haven't been hungry all day. I'm just like, you know, when you're fasting, you're just like, oh, I'm excited to eat later. So yeah, I felt pretty good. I got a lot done today. I've been pretty productive. I felt a little bit of weakness, maybe like an hour or two ago. Mm -hmm. But other than that, I've been pretty good. How about you? Good to hear. I feel good. I, didn't, I never felt like the last one, that we did six and hour hours, I was going through the symptoms, different symptoms, which I explained in that video. But this one, I'm like, it's a lot easier. It makes me realize, like, what am I fasting for? Oh, I had a I bad would, headache, too. I would say 48 hours is to, is to just give your body a break, you know? But all this week, we were fasting 22 hours, so doing 42 was a no-brainer. 48. 48. I would say, though, the 69 mm -hmm. is in my ball game. Really they hit, they, they hit. Mm -hmm. 69 is in my ball game. I kind of like that, but I, I didn't know. I don't think it was needed this time around, because we, we did just it. Did one two weeks ago. We did one two weeks ago, and we fast anywhere from 18, 22 hours every day, eating one meal a day and a sea moss smoothie or apples and peanut butter. The fruit is good. Yeah, these are really good. They're nice and sweet. I'm loving the tom burn right now. I do want to talk about if anyone is inspired by this understand that we're not telling anyone to do this but we're just showing you what we do you know because white man medicine will tell you that this is dangerous black man medicine asian medicine will tell you otherwise and i'm pretty sure there's other places i'm leaving out but i had a friend that texted me that said they were inspired by fasting let me actually quote what they're saying mm -hmm. they said i stopped fasting last week it was not working for me i was just doing it wrong but i felt and looked tired and if you're seeing fasting online you're just jumping right into it just understand that with anything you do you're you're not going to succeed at it the first time it even your body's gonna be like what the hell we don't do this we eat fries we eat the chicken nuggets, we eat this, 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 we not doing this. So I'm going to punish you for trying to do something new that you've never introduced me to. And on top of that, if you're going to fast, you have to prepare for everything. Like an analogy for fasting could be like for war, you know, you're about to go into some form of quote unquote war. You want to just, you don't want to just, okay, grab the guns and everything and just get to it. You want to prepare your body. Maybe say I'm going to start off with intermittent fasting. I'm only going to eat at 12 or 1. That's when I'm going to start eating. Then you say, okay, I'm going to eat maybe I'm an intermittent fast. And then I'm going to eat at a big meal at 1. And then I'm going to do an organic juice or smoothie at like 4 or 5 or 6 or 7. And then you want to just up your way into like, okay, I'm going to do a 24-hour fast achieve that goal. I'm going to do a 48 hour fast. We jumped into 69 hours because we've always entered this realm. I think we're now in the mastering realm of where we could do this and it's not the end of the world. Our body's like, actually, I appreciate you taking me through that because now I actually love it. And just be mindful and definitely don't give up. They also just texted me and said they tried intermittent fasting of 17 hours dinner at 1 30 breakfast at 7 a.m and snack at 10 30. i think i was also having a lot of water retention though i'm mean, gonna asking me how do i feel while fasting what's your fasting goals everyone's gonna experience fasting differently another thing on top of that i would say is fasting with a group of people or having someone to fast with you also helps you know i think marilyn has me who's like really wants to fast <laughs> she's like more than willing to fast, but I could see if you were by yourself, you'd be like, uh -huh, fast for what, you know? Like, fuck nah. Yeah. <laughs> so with that being said, send me an email at lastnamevirgo at gmail.com if you want to join our fasting group. We would love to support and be there for anyone that wants to fast. I also recommend downloading an app called Zero. We use it to time our fast. I don't recommend paying for it but it helps you relinquish the job of counting how long you've been fasting, right? You just mm -hmm. start it and you ignore it. And, and fasting, you're just supposed to relax and enjoy. 
So how do you eat a June plum? June plum. So this is not Jamaican June plum. Again, I'm gonna put a picture of how Jamaican June plum look. But I don't even know if these are ripe or anything. I'm gonna have to like dive in. But the skin is very hard. So um, June plum, you normally just peel off the first layer of skin. And when you eat June plum, it's very. It's not similar to mango, but understand understand that it does get in your teeth. Mm -mm. Skin comes off. But I don't know if any of these are ready. Oh, you're supposed to peel it like that? Yeah. I don't know if any of these are ready. And but that's why I was saying earlier, I'm a little bit disappointed with these June pump. They don't even look, normally they're yellow too. Jamaican June pump. I don't know if they're ready. So we can give them a try. But they're normally like softer when they're ready. Just like any other fruit. I don't think any of them. They're in the fridge. Let me see. Uh-uh. Not ready yet. But I can see it tastes. Mm -hmm. But this could give you an idea. But it's nowhere near ready. Mm -mm. We're gonna have to let those ripen more. We just got them and we put them right in the fridge. The other fruit, I gave it time to ripen. Fruit tastes amazing. You know, I, like we never left. I don't, I don't think because I'm hungry they taste good. I think whole foods just offer a quality oh, yeah. of fruit. I really believe that farmers divvy their fruit per grocery store. If you're at this level tier, you're getting a high quality. You're paying more for it. So yeah, I hope I hit home with that. Work your way up to fasting and introduce your body to it properly. Understand you're going to go through it. Get a support person to fast with you. And also do not want another big rule is don't tell people at your job or a friend or someone you call a friend about fasting if they're not going to support you. Because what that does is that's dangerous. I could never do that. Nobody's asking you. You're gonna get hypoglycemic. You're gonna faint. You're gonna do this. Oh, I can never. That this. You don't want to be around nobody. F the naysayers. Yeah. They're you, the ones that discourage you from achieving your goals. Yeah. Don't you, tell nobody. Exactly. You don't want to be around nobody that that is not supportive of this. And I would also recommend if you can do it on your days that are off. Agreed. Start it like as you're leaving work. So let's say you're off Saturday and Sunday and you get off work at six or three or whatever on Friday. As soon as you leave work, start it. So that way you have overnight, then you have your first day off, going into your next day off if you're doing like 48 hours or, or 24 or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then if you're doing a longer one, you have to go into work by the time you need to go into work, you already understand what's going on and you're in your zone. You know how much water, you know when your body needs water. I agree with that. Um, yeah, definitely start it like as you're leaving. Like, yeah, if you work like three or five, mm -hmm. like try to eat your lunch late and then start it. Then like as soon as you finish your last bite, boom, you're going into fasting mode. That's a fact. Yeah. So then if you do 48 hours, that means that you can break fast at like 3 p.m. or 2 p.m. on Sunday. Well, you know what I'm realizing? Not a lot of people have tried tambrin before. So um, I, I call it tambrin, but it is pronounced tam tamarind. 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 But we call it tambrin. With a B. Guys. With a B. With a B. But this is how it looks in the shell. Hopefully you can see that. And this is how it looks when you peel off the shell. Not to disgust you, but... <laughs> Eating this will have your poop coming out like this. Tambrin will bring you to the bathroom. I'm going to just let you know that now. And you just take off this part. So it's two parts. You have to take off the outer shell, this part, and then there's seeds inside each of these. The seeds look like this. I love tambrin. It's like one of my top top 10 fruits. I'm not the biggest fan, but I'll eat a couple. It does help with fiber, like moving you and stuff. Mm-hmm. I want to see if this has fiber. Oh, it has 25% potassium. Oh, so it's high in potassium too, y'all. And uh, iron, calcium, and vitamin D. Skip the bananas. Yeah, I would say skip the bananas for sure. Uh, bananas is not in my top 10. It's at the bottom of my list. 
Yeah, you're not a banana fan. Mm -mm. What's your top five fruits? I want to see what you're going to do here. <clears throat> Number one. Hockey. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I like Aki. That's she like Aki. I was going to say, she's going to miss one. My first one. My second, I think, soursop. My third, mango. My fourth. Mm. If it's good cherries like this, I like cherries and blackberries. I think they could tie for four. Water, like watermelon. Oh, watermelon. Shit, watermelon. Yeah. Watermelon, I would say like, okay, so one is Aki, two is soursop because it's just banging. Three, I would say watermelon, then four mango, five cherries, blackberries. I like apples a lot. I eat a lot of apples. Um, that could be number six. I don't think I have ten fruits that I have. I said five. Oh, five? Oh, okay. Well, I gave you six. What are your top five? Number one is watermelon. Let me rephrase that. Seeded watermelon. I would never eat seedless watermelon. Um, and shame on the people who buy, still buy seed, seed, seedless watermelon. Seeded watermelon, I would say Aki number two. Guinip number three. Oh yeah, Guinip is good. Soasap number four. And Tambrin number five. Those are my, um, Forgot about if, I was, if I was stuck on the island. <laughs> you would want those on? Mm-hmm. I know for a fact I could survive my watermelon and Aki. Yeah. Because Aki kit is really versatile. And then watermelon just gives you everything. Juice it. You just eat it. It's really filling. You pee a lot. Yeah, no, I like Aki a lot. Like, that's like my number one. <laughs> Appreciate your time for all clicking on these videos. Um, I know it's another fasting video, but I've noticed that, like, People are always searching for how to be healthier, always searching to be more spiritual, always searching to how they can be a better person. This YouTube is always uh, is all about sharing that advice to our distant relatives. Because a lot of the time, this information is hidden. Or you're getting misinformation. That's the thing, because Western medicine governs the world. <clears throat> Cheers. Sadly. You get a lot of misinformation or you get information that might not be specific to you and your body and your lifestyle. So, for example, if three years ago someone came to me with fasting, I would be like, you're going to kill yourself. You're going to starve yourself. You're going to be hypoglycemic. I'm going to be a naysayer like shit. But you see me now. This is what's best for my body and for our lifestyles mm -hmm. because we do like to indulge. People indulge, 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 pizza, wing stop, this and that, and cheese fries, and then they don't give their body a break. Or then the next morning they wake up and have McDonald's and this and that. You don't give your body a break. But Western medicine will tell you that that's not good. Western medicine will tell you that you need to take pills to that food, alleviate that the food, That food pyramid is way off. Yeah. So you need to just read what you want to read, but make decisions that are best for you and your lifestyle and your body. Yeah. That's just my And take a break from white scientists. I'm, I'm not knocking them, but think about it. They've been telling you what's good for you and what's bad for you your whole life. You know there's black doctors out there, right? You know there's like Asian doctors. Go give them a listen. The ones that are not practicing Western medicine. Yeah. Let's say that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Or the ones that have practiced Western medicine and mm. Western medicine have uh, discussed them so much that they provide the healthy things for their clients and mm -hmm. practice under the Western realm. Thank you for clicking this video. I know you do not want to see us continue eating fruit. Peace out. Bye. Love.